Hey ladies and gents, and welcome back. So today we have a pair of White's boots. Now this pair of boots was sent in to us to have a little bit of a makeover. Uh, the guy that had them, the boots are actually in really good shape, but he- Practically brand new. Practically brand new. He just wants to make them look a little more like this. So we're going to go out to the shop and we're going to try to get rid of what they currently look like and make them look a little more like what the gentleman has on this picture. So without further ado, let's get out the shop and get this done. All right, the sole is off, and they are—they're uh, obviously held in quite well. So, all right, guys. You always ask, pretty much in every video, what this liquid is, and again, it's just glue thinner, um, so I can loosen up that glue that's holding this midsole on and it just makes it a lot easier to come off. There, Woo. got it off. Okay guys, I'm about to take a quick break, go grab myself a cup of coffee, but before I do that, and before I get back to this pair of boots, let me tell you real quickly about today's video sponsor, which is Anson Belts. Now you guys have heard us talk about Anson in the past. It is a family owned business, just like ours, and Heath and I met the father and son uh, from this business a couple of years ago, and absolutely great down to earth folks. Um, the other thing, they have amazing customer service, which is even better. Now, what is Anson Belts? Guys, Anson Belts is a micro-adjustable, holeless belt system. So what does that mean? Basically, what it is, is one size fits all. And let me tell you how it works. You take your belt, you figure out where you want it to go around your waist. You simply take the pair of scissors, you cut the belt, you take the buckle, you slide it on, you clamp it down, Boom, it is done. Now all you do is you take the other part of the belt, you slip it through the buckle, and you will hear the ratcheting system. And it goes up to every quarter inch. So guys, it doesn't matter if you've lost weight, put on weight, 
The belt simply adjusts to your size. You click the little button, slides off. It is that easy and that's why they have sold a ton of these. Now the other great thing about Anson belts is that they come in a lot of different options. Not only the belt buckles, but the belts as well. In regards to the belts, you can get canvas, you can get leather, you can get suede. The belt buckles come in different color metals. Uh, you can also choose different styles of belt buckles. And that's what's great about all of this is let's say maybe one day you've got on this outfit, the next day you put on a different outfit, bam, you just adjust the buckle, adjust the belt, put on what you want, click it down, zip it in, it's good to go. Guys, it is that easy when it comes to Anson belts. Now, I've already told you that they are family owned and to us, that makes a big difference because again, so are we. What that means, guys, is they strive to take care of their customers. Their customer reviews are amazing, their customer service is amazing, and they have a lifetime guarantee on all of these belts. Okay, y'all, for a limited offer, click on the special discount link in the description box below or go to ansonbelt.com forward slash Trent for an amazing discount. Now guys, I recommend getting the box of three buckles and two straps, which gives you a combination of six different belts and you get all of that for under $100. All right, so we've got the sole off and let me explain a little bit about what's going on in these. Now these are wise boots. Um, it's actually a stitched down construction because this is the actual part of the, um, uh, the upper that is flipped out. But what you can see is that they take a very thin strip of leather and they stitch it through the upper and then they flare it out. So it's actually two pieces and then the sole is stitched on through there. Now, uh, we're gonna have to remove this part because he, only, he wants to go down to a single stitch and this has a double stitch and so it'll have all those exposed holes. So this is actually gonna have to be replaced it won't matter, let me show you. Now this is the one I've already done. So there is uh, just the upper. Now it doesn't matter because this is gonna be covered up with the new leather so I can leave this, put on a fresh piece on top of here and then when we stitch it, you only see the one uh, thing of stitches. All right, so another little interesting thing about these is even though it's a stitch down, it's almost a hybrid between a stitch down and a Goodyear welt because look, this is the insole and it's actually got a little rib uh, in there for the stitches to go through. Now, the only reason they need that is because of that strip right there. If they were doing just a straight stitch down, they wouldn't need that, but kind of interesting. So we have split this welt down a little bit thinner. And the reason why is because the original little welt that they used on top of the stitch down was pretty thin. And if it's full thickness plus that thick leather, it's gonna be too bulky. So we gotta make the welt just a little bit thinner.
While I'm stitching this, I figured I'd show y'all a little glimpse from a profile. So instead of having like a canvas rib that sticks up like a little wall and you stitch through here, it comes out and through the wall, this is what's carved into a solid piece of leather. And you, a lot of traditional boots are made this way, especially cowboy boots are made this way. And it goes through here and then this little blade cuts a little trench and it pops out on this side. So that's when you see me stitching, you'll see my all pop out through this little slit right here. But that's uh, that's the original form before the uh, gimming came out. This is the way that shoes were done. This is strictly to protect that seam from getting too much junk and glue and stuff down there. That's why I used rubber cement and not contact cement to hold this down. Okay, so the uh, guy wants uh, new stack blocks. Obviously, we're gonna have to do that because of the shape. Uh, the originals were you know, cut in quite a bit, like a logger boot, and he wants a little bit more of a straight up and down. So we're gonna have to cut out a lot of stacked leather here to redo his boots. So uh, let's go ahead and get these cut out.
All right, so we've put this first layer on and it's got a very dramatic like arch to it. And the, the problem with this and just putting another one on is it continues to curve and then another one will go and it'll curve and you're never getting a flat surface. So what you're supposed to do ideally is to leave the sides full height and bring the middle down to the same height as this. And then you can put another one that'll give you a flat surface another one on and you'll have to probably sand a little bit until you work your way up to a full stack and it's completely flat and ready to put a flat top left on. All right, so I have sanded it down. I didn't sand these really low, but uh, I couldn't go any low, uh, lower or I'm gonna hit the sole. So I still have a little bit of a bow here. I'll put one more on and then sand it down a little bit and that should give us a flat surface to start building the rest of our stacks. Okay, so after layer after layer after layer of leather, we have gotten the heel block stacked on there. They're ready to go. Now, I just want to show you guys, because I know some of you will ask, why didn't you use the matching top lift that goes with the uh, V-tread? Well, this is the matching uh, top lift, and you can see just how thick that top lift is. Well, this particular customer wanted these he wanted to see a lot of the top lift seeing a lot of that leather is what was most important to him so what he decided to do was just go with a much smaller vibram top lift like this one and that way it'll give that look of stacked leather with a little bit of rubber on there and i think it's going to look great but anyways let's go ahead let's get these stacked on there finish it up and the boots are almost done Okay guys, this pair of White's boots is complete. Now hey, before we show you what we did to these, I do want to introduce you to someone uh, that some of you guys have probably seen on camera. Over or you've the, talked over the with years. him over the phone if yeah. you've called in or gotten emails from him or whatnot. Yep, but. yep. He is our dad and one of our business partners. Uh, come here, hop on up here. Okay, he doesn't have a mic, so obviously, you know, bear with us on the sound. Now, this is our dad named Norm, but he is a retired uh, colonel from the U.S. Air Force. Uh, as you guys know, he spent over 30 years, how many? 35. 35. 35 years. So he was also prior enlisted, and he worked his way all the way up to the rank of colonel, spent a lot of time. So you are starting a new YouTube channel. I am. And go ahead and tell everybody what that channel is about. Yeah, starting a new channel. Uh, it's called Storm and Cellar. And uh, I'm going to be covering a lot of things, anything from geopolitical that has something to do with military 
to uh, aircraft and uh, interviews with a lot of interesting people that's uh, served our country. But everything basically is tied to military topics. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. Ethan and I got our start, you know, when John uh, Shanahan from the Cavalier uh, channel was nice enough to introduce us. And hopefully a lot of you guys will, you know, go onto our dad's channel, like it, subscribe to it. He's got a lot of great stories, a lot of information if you love things military. So yeah. definitely check it out. We'll put the link down below. All right. Thank Appreciate you guys. it. Okay, guys, uh, one more quick thing. Um, it is almost Mother's Day. I'm just throwing this out there for you guys out there that have waited till the last second. Which is like me. Yeah, and me. Make sure you check out our other uh, company, southernpolished.com. We do make a lot of lady sandals, so it's getting pretty close. You may hit that cutoff. You may not be able to get them in time. We'll see, but we also have gift cards on there, so definitely check it out. That's the safe bet because if you're anything like me, I always buy the wrong thing. All the time. Uh, sizing, color, yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. Let so them make their own decision. Get them a gift card. Let them choose. Yeah. Okay, guys. Heath, what did we do to this pair of boots? We really didn't do a whole lot to this pair of boots because no. uh, the devil was in the details with this one. He just wanted a different shape on the heels. He wanted a um, single, single row, row stitch yep. instead of the double row. And because of that, we had to replace that uh, that welt because this was that hybrid mm -hmm. um, stitch down, but also had a separate welt stitched onto it. That um, was very different. Yeah. I've never seen that. Um, you know, so, you know, we did a NYX boots uh, video, uh, actually, you know, hours uh, just the other day. And that is a true stitch out construction um, yeah. or stitch down construction. This one, that yeah, was, was a bit odd. It's almost like a stitch down with a Goodyear welt type. Yeah. yeah. But I, actually, I have that exact same pair of boots as well. Um, and But I've never really examined them apart so i did yeah, just the way it was done it was a hybrid it was yeah. pretty cool so hopefully it was informative you yeah. guys and for you guys to have white boots now you kind of see how they're made um but, yeah we didn't do anything really specific except for on the hill he didn't want that logger where it kind of comes in he wanted it more like a walking hill yeah that kind of urban look but it had a little bit of a flare to it just a little bit of a bevel all the way around so uh was, you'll, you'll be able to maybe if you zoom in you'll be able to see that kind of not kind of quite as exaggerated yeah. but just a little bit yeah. So that anyways, was it. That's about it. Like I said, he was we just trying to make it look like that picture. And I, you know, I think we got as close Same as Same souls can. and everything. Yeah. Yeah. So kind of crazy. All right, guys. I think that's just about it. Again, thanks so much for joining. And until next time, y'all have a good one.